Hi guys, it's Mrs. Nickerson. Oh, I've missed you. Um, I hope you all are well. Uh, I am coming to you from my house. Yay, this is my bedroom. And I'm going to be showing you today how to get started on the e-learning because it's gonna be a little different, okay? But difference good, difference good. So uh, when you log into Schoology from, home, from school, it's pretty easy because you just log in, right? And it takes you, you type in your username and your password, and it takes you right to Schoology. It's not gonna do that from your home computer, whatever device you're using, uh, tablet, phone, whatever it might be. So I'm gonna show you how that's gonna look a little different, okay? So I'm gonna just turn the screen around, and I apologize, it's super bright. So you're just gonna go to Google, or even if you were to type it directly in the search bar, I don't know what was on there, and you're gonna type in class link, Oops, that helps if I actually type in there. Class link Manatee. And you'll see it actually pops up. Well, it did pop up. Where did it go? There, it's the first one. Okay. And it, you're gonna click on this one. It's very easy to get to. If you don't remember class link, you can type in SSO Manatee. And again, it helps if you spell it right. I'm trying to do this with one hand and apparently I'm not very good at one hand typing. Okay, and it'll be right there. And it's gonna take you right to your link. Now I've already logged in, so mine pops right up. Yours is gonna look a little different. It's gonna have you type in your username and your password because it doesn't know who you are yet until you log in. Now, once you've gotten here, it's very easy to save this so you don't have to do this every time. Do you see this little star up here? You can bookmark this tab and you can put it in your books, book, you just leave it like that, leave it there, done, ta-da, or, and then every time you want to go there, you just go to your bookmarks, which can be difficult, but not really, or you can just drag this little symbol to, well, hold on, not like that, you can just drag, oh, where did it go? Okay, hold on, I'm getting there. So we go back here, and do you see that little, that little thing right there? You're just gonna drag that to your desktop, and now it'll be right there. Every time you wanna go, you just click right on there. So I'll just click there, and again, because I'm already logged in, it'll just bring me right up. Okay, so you can see there's focus, you can see there's all the things. Now mine might look a little different than yours because I'm a teacher and so I have a lot more apps than you guys do. But you can see there's Pearson for when you wanna go on to Envision. And you're going to go to Schoology for us. So here's the Schoology app. Again, mine might be in a different place than yours, but that's okay. And it's gonna pop up Schoology. And again, mine might look different but we're gonna to go to courses just like you would normally and just to math like you would normally. Now, in the past, I've only used uh, math to put everything in, but I'm gonna try starting using science as well. I know Mr. L uh, Loera is gonna be using language arts. So you'll have to go to all of those different sections to get your course material, which isn't a big deal. It's just like changing classes, okay? Um, and I believe the specials teachers will have classes for each of their sections as well. So. If you flip this around again, you can see that I have lots of different classes here because I'm a teacher, but you have a lot of different classes too. And some of them say STEM and some of them might say um, PE. So you'll click on those various things to get uh, the materials that the teachers are giving you. But for us, uh, it'll be math and science. And I made this folder look a little bit better. You'll see that I put all of our old stuff in here and the new stuff we're working on called online learning, we're gonna start there. Okay. Now, my folder again looks a little different than yours, but this is what you're gonna be looking for. You're gonna be looking for the date. And this is what ours will be. And this will be the first week of work. And so then you'll see that I have, and it says a start here button, which will be this video. And then you'll see Monday, Tuesday, which are combined Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and an extra help folder, okay? So you would just click on Monday for the day that you're working on. And um, it's really lovely. It doesn't tell me anything, does it? Oh, okay. So mine again looks different than yours, 
but I'm going to show you what a preview would look like. So it would say Monday and Tuesday, March 30th to 31st, um, and it says start a new attempt. So this is basically the way we're going to give you our material, and it's going to be in this five to seven question format. And you'll see it, this one is seven, so it says one of seven. And so the first thing you're going to do every single day for math is going to be rocket math. And you will click on that link, you'll do rocket math, you'll answer the question at the end, and you'll go to the next question. The next question will say a uh, question of the day. And this one, you have to answer the question of the day for math. You finish the answer those and you go to the next question. This one will say your video lesson and it will have a link here. You'll click on that. And this one has two lessons together because you can spread it out over two days. So you'll do click on Monday's lesson, do what you have to do in the lesson on the video. Then the next day you go to Tuesday's lesson. When you're finished with that, click next. And the computer will save your where you're at. So if you break this up over two days or three days or four days, it will save your progress so you don't have to worry about that. And then it's gonna to go to independent practice. So we're always gonna start with rocket math, your question of the day, the video lesson, and then you're gonna have some sort of practice activity. And in this case, the independent practice is usually gonna be Pearson for right now. And Pearson is our math app. So if you go back to where you are for logging in, you'll see Pearson here. And you guys have done this before. You log into Pearson, you click it. Now again, mine will look a little different than yours. And you'll have just one thing posted here and it'll look like this and it'll say Envision. You'll click that. And then it'll pop up with assignments. Um, again, I think mine looks a little different than yours. But basically you go to, yeah, yours will say assignments in the middle here. You'll click on the assignment and it'll ask you to, to do what you need to do. Now you're gonna look for the specific assignment that is labeled in your Schoology. See, this one's called Monday, March 30th. Uh, actually, I think it'll be called Monday and Tuesday, March 30th, but needless to say, you'll look for that. Um, and I've also included a YouTube link that Mrs. Violante has done on how to log into Pearson again, should you forget. You'll answer the question here and then you'll go on to the next assignment, which is gonna be an exit ticket. Um, in this case, there are three exit tickets. So you'll do all three of them, and then you'll hit finish. And again, you can do that at your own time. So it doesn't have to be all at once, okay? Um, and that is how you're going to get all your math work. So we're gonna go back to courses. You would log into math, do your daily work, and again, it doesn't have to be done on the specific day, but it does need to be done in order. So if it says Monday, you don't want to be doing Tuesdays first and then go back to Mondays because obviously whatever we learned on Monday has to come first. But you don't have to, not to, have to necessarily do it on Monday. Um, you do it at your own pace as long as it's done by the end of the week. I've also included a folder on Schoology, a file on Schoology that tells you how to get in contact with me so we can do some video chats. Um, I'm going to have open help sessions available to anyone who wants to join for that time, but I'm also available through the phone, uh, text, call, um, remind, FaceTime. Okay, this is a new time for all of us, and I'm sure it's maybe a little scary for some of us, but it's also going to be exciting and fun because we get to try something different. And maybe you'll learn faster this way. Maybe it'll be easier without the distractions of everyone around. Maybe it'll be easier without me right there right? Um, so let's have fun with this and see what we can do. All right. I love you. I miss you all. And I hope to see you soon. Bye.